Hey, it's Sonali from Hot Off The Shelves. So, imagine you are a bridesmaid at a friend's wedding for a friend that you don't really know that well and it turns out to be the most horrific, miserable experience ever. The bride loses her ring, everyone is incredibly drunk and throwing up all over the place. There's a bucket of vomit on the floor and she emotionally manipulates you into going to look for her ring and you go to all these bars because she can't remember which bar she left it at and you go to each bar but everyone is not helpful at the bars and then your phone dies after this horrible experience you come back and she's like where have you been we found the ring hours ago we needed you for photo shoots and we you weren't there and you just feel really shitty and you come back and then you find After you charge your phone, you're back home in your bed, you're charging your phone, and you find that you missed all these messages from your best friend saying that she just got engaged. So now, you're probably going to be her maid of honor, which means another whole year, maybe, depending on how long this engagement is, of um, wedding planning. So this book is about wedding culture, and... We keep asking ourselves the question, is it possible to keep your sanity while you're planning weddings? Especially for a bride that promises she's never going to be a bridezilla, but then she inevitably becomes a bridezilla. Is it possible to keep your own identity, to keep your own life intact, your own relationships, while your bride wants you to cancel all your plans? And so that's what this book is about. The main character, her name is Delilah, but people keep calling her Delhi against her wishes. She wants to be called Lila. And there are also all these really funny characters in here. There's her grandma, who is hilarious. She has electric blue hair at some point. She loves dyeing her hair crazy colors. She also loves wearing Kylie Jenner lipstick and... Um, there's her best friend's Lauren, who's getting married, who promises she's never going to be a bridezilla, but she can't help it. She just starts turning into one. Then we have Jolie, who's an Instagram influencer. She's a, um, she's a plus size model. So she gets to model all these plus size clothes and they're both her friends are very confident. They're very outspoken and they can be kind of selfish sometimes. And so that kind of overpowers our main character, Delilah, sometimes, because Delilah is very, like, people-pleasing. She doesn't always, she usually doesn't stand up for herself. She just does what people want her to do, even if it means, um, you know, ruining her own, like, relationships and not taking care of herself. So it th- it's all about, like, how do you stand up for yourself, or at least keep your own priorities straight while you're with people who are are really good about keeping their own priorities straight and is it possible for everyone to do all of that at once or does someone always suffer um so i really loved it it was really funny i loved all of the characters Um, it was a perfect read for when i really wanted something lighter and it's also British, so you get to hear some of the like British humor. I didn't know what a Hindu was before I read this, but in the US we call them bridal showers or bachelorette parties. Um, and in the UK, it, apparently it's called a Hindu. And I was wondering, like, is there a difference? Like, no, there's not really a difference, apparently. I thought maybe Hindus were less crazy than bachelorette parties where, like, stereotypically everyone gets you know, strippers or something. So in the UK, it kind of depends. Everyone's bachelor party is different. And that's the other cool thing in this book. We get to see Delilah go to 12 different weddings and every chapter ends with like a little summary of the wedding. Like what happened, the gossip of the wedding, the food of the wedding. So one wedding, everyone goes to a juice. It's like instead of a bar crawl, you go on a juice crawl and everyone gets really drunk rebelling from the juicing I guess because no one really wants to drink green juice all day so they end up sneaking drinks in at some point and they're at the spa and everyone's 
very drunk, even though they're not supposed to be alcohol at the spa. So they get really drunk. They get kicked out of the spa and they try to fight someone. So the whole bridal party gets imprisoned. Like they all get sent to jail, but it's, they're not even angry. It's just like a really funny experience. They're all like singing. They come back like rejuvenated and it's just like a hilarious experience. So I would really recommend this. Like I really liked reading it as someone who doesn't really love weddings, kind of like Delilah, the main character. She doesn't she doesn't love the whole like bridesmaids, maid of honor thing, but because this is her best friend, she really wants to plan it and have it be a great experience for her. I loved how the ending kind of showed where everyone's storyline ended and um and it wasn't it, it was somehow like a really hilarious light book, but it also got deep in many parts. We showed, we learned how like each character developed and grew and everyone kind of had to compromise at certain points. So it was a really good read. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to give us a subscribe and like and check out our podcast. We're available on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. Leave us a review or comment.